And as always, guys, you stay classy, stay positive, and have a good day. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Kiamis Rockoff Johnson, here with another video. How y'all feeling today? As you can see right there, that is the Reginald F. Lewis Museum. And today I'm gonna take you guys with me inside the museum. So let's go ahead and push our problems aside and just have some fun exploring with us today. If you don't know where this museum is, uh, it's actually on Pratt and Presidential Street. And this is a museum of black history. Well, specifically, Maryland, African-American history and culture. So as you can see, there you go, here's a notice about the Baltimore slave trade. And I don't know if they're gonna have anything in there about it, but here's a fun fact. Harriet Tubman is actually from Baltimore. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go on ahead, walk in, see what's up. So I'm actually waiting for my brother, so we're in a gift shop. And we haven't gone through the museum yet, but got some stuff in here with Harriet Tubman. Mm. Michelle taught me. Of course, Michelle isn't from here. She's from Baltimore. And not, I mean, Chicago. Tubman. Wow. Ooh, look at that. As soon as you come in. Wow, Black Lives Matter on the floor. Dang. Huh. I'm gonna look in there in a little bit. But we start upstairs and then we make our way down. <laughs> my brother's trolling me right now. Of course, I got my brother and got Bree here. Whenever I go to museums, especially when it's about black history, I try to bring as many black people with me as I can. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No flash photography. Oh, you're not flashing. Yep, my boobies aren't out. <laughs> All right, so one way. Building Maryland, building America. Oh, I know about that statue. I'm gonna be back. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a rush shackle. Saltwater Negroes. And just to let you guys know, um, I'm just gonna hover over some of the stuff because I still want you to come and see for yourself. I mean, but just come on, man. Yeah. So much to take in. All right, here we have an exhibit called Work in Frederick Bailey's Freedom. Let you guys read that. It's interesting. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is the thing underneath what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so that's what it actually looks like, but this is what it feels like. <laughs> Does it really? I need to go to the gym. Hold on, record me. Oh, yeah. It's a workout. That's what I said. It's, it's like, if I have to give a measure of resistance, it's probably anywhere from like 20 to 25 pounds of resistance as you push in oh my god look at this yes the philip reed statue of freedom i'm gonna go ahead and sit this here let you guys read it there you go Statue of Freedom after recent restoration 
In case you didn't know, this is what's on top of the, the Capitol building. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at tobacco. Is that what that is? Am I right? Yep, tobacco. Because I'm a country boy. I'm a country boy, and I know what hanging tobacco looks like. It does. Well, these? That's a very good question. I mean, I don't want to reach up and touch it because I'm not going to lie to you. I'd, <laughs> I'd be able to reach up and touch it, but I don't want it to, you know, <laughs> like, I'm not about to do that. That's not logical. <laughs> but that's a very good question. Maybe we can ask them when we get downstairs or something. I said that's cool. That's not what I mean that's going to be. What, black farmers? No, not the farmer part. <laughs> I'm about to say no, that? Not <laughs> like, part. what are you talking but about? She said she, if she worked up for her dad until she was 27 and raised crops. And then once she turned 27, old enough basically to do it by herself, she had her own business. So for 43 years, she was a sharecropper. Hmm. She was saying all that because her merch goes to her son, and that's why she has her merch. So make sure you check out her merch. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, my God. You know, I love boxing. Some shorts, of course, and wow, this is a letter. Yeah, from Jerry Thomas, and then boxing trunks. Wow. What? Oh, I didn't even make it that far. We're about to get there, guys. I mean, here we go. I can show you guys this. Huh? Oh, word? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Dropped the ball on that one, but of course, Ben Carson, you see there? Just, we're having our little side conversations on the side, so that's what you guys are hearing. <laughs> never forget, they had the picture of his wife, and it was like, they look like they read the terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> we can never, I can, I can never have a serious trip with this guy. <laughs> I can never have a serious trip. <laughs> Over here. Just a lot to take in, but um. <clears throat> See, I'm really trying to show you guys some of the actual artifacts, versus like more so some of the stuff that's up here. Even though I'm showing you guys this, I'm trying to show you guys more of the actual artifacts, just because they're real personal items, and they have information on everything you see. It's really cool because there's been plenty of times I've been in museums where you'll see something like this and you're just like, okay, so what is it? <laughs> but they have information on everything. 
right everything's documented so everything you see here is legit and it's accounted for and on paper i mean a lot of these things were donated by families other historical out outlets god man i love seeing stuff like this because it really like it really just brings everything in the focus of how real, you know, it is. Not like I didn't know, but for future generations and everything. Wow. It really does what it's supposed to do with a museum and brings you back into history so that you can be educated and you really have something physical to see. Just gets hot. You sit on a stool, this gets hot, you put water in there, that's where the hole's there. You put the hot comb in this part and then heats up the hot comb. So it's straightening your hair. Wow. But I I only knew that the hot comb still exists. Like I don't know if they still have any kind of models of like the actual thing. Wow. But now I'm, I remember like my grandmother, she used to just sit it on the stove, like the eye of the stove, but it just used to be the comb. And I was like, that's, that's crazy because I didn't know that it was actually a whole system. Yeah. I just thought it was a comb. Wow. Like I knew the comb process was old, but I didn't know it was an actual. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There we go. And just so you guys can see, the hot comb is actually from the 1930s. And the pan over here is from 1910. Wow. I guess it's that. Not sure. Here we have this pan of Harriet Tubman, it looks like. Wow. Makes me a art panel. That is beautiful. That's amazing. And I was actually reading the side here. And as you can see, if you pause and read it, it says that um, she was actually born in Dorchester County, Maryland. Which is interesting because I actually read in a book uh, in school that she was from here. Either way, she's from Maryland. But that's a fun fact for you guys. And I've been corrected. Exhibit on this young art video just went and played and all that kind of stuff. I didn't go start back up, but yeah. And of course, when we're talking about arts and music, we have an exhibit with a bunch of black artists from Baltimore. I'm gonna go down there so you got well, so you guys can see that. That's the Royal Theater. And they did put up a notice that said they're upgrading their systems and everything so some because some things aren't working correctly. So yeah, but in case you didn't know Billy Holiday is from Baltimore. Bishop actually oh well he's already gone, but Bishop actually didn't know that. I did, but here we go. I'll let you guys read those. Oh, well, actually I lied. I about to say, because I didn't even realize Cab Calloway was right here. And he's not from Baltimore. Now, all of them are, okay? All, the, all, all of them were. But Cab Calloway isn't from Baltimore. I just realized that when I looked at his name. So maybe these are just, these are just black artists, but they they are definitely from Baltimore, okay? just want that to be known. I mean, you could read it, but... Grew up in Baltimore. Yeah, so... All right. I mean, I'm not, I'm of course not opposed of it because I love Cap Calloway. He's a huge inspiration to me, but yeah, because I dance. In case you guys didn't know, that's where I get my name from. Oh, there we go. The Royal Theater.
Let me know if you guys want me to see if I could find like any museums or where these people used to live. I will definitely show you guys. Music on Pennsylvania Avenue. Always around there. Community theater. Oh my God, man. I love it. Like by that time, they was just getting into letting people, all right, maybe this is an important feature. Wow. Going on in the school system. So you guys, like I said, you can pause whatever and read it. Make sure you guys can see that right there. Oh shit, bro just hit. Dunbar High School. Fun fact, that's actually the first school that Tupac went to before he uh, transferred and went to um, Baltimore School of the Arts. Now we're getting into some of the hard stuff. They don't have too much of it here. It's mostly looking at the culture of Baltimore and everything, but of course, you're gonna have slave stuff. Frederick Douglass paper. Wow. December 18th, 1851. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. This. Wow. Wow. Something on the Freedom Riders. Oh wow. And here goes. I'm about to say, this is a whole thing called Inside the System. No, I said system because you see person. Oh. Oh, I thought you said system. Yeah. Well, they're still renovating all these things over here. But like I said, I want you guys to come here. But of course, I have to say something about this. With the Black Panthers and their whole movement. If you haven't seen Judas and the Black Messiah, go look it up. It's actually extremely accurate. Actually wonder why you haven't seen it. Wow. And then they've got Tyburns. You said what? Oh wow. Look at this. I have a haircut every week. Wow. This museum is so cool. It looks like something on.
I know, right? It's crazy. And look at the counties where they're from. William Ramsey, Baltimore County. Howard, Carroll, Baltimore. Um, well, I guess where it says Baltimore, it's just city versus obviously Baltimore County. Yeah, because Baltimore County say Baltimore County. Yeah. This is crazy. Okay, so here's a fun fact, guys. Um, actually, let me walk away. Here's a fun fact. I actually came here when I was a kid, um, when this museum first opened up, but I was in my early teens. Had it been like 13 or 14. And the th biggest thing I pulled from this museum was a slave's actual papers that they had with them when they were free in a container that they carried with them. And they still have it here. Look at this. Oh my God. That was held in the hands of a former slave. And think about it. When he was out somewhere or something like that and he was questioned for being a black man just walking around, you know, trying to just live his life. He had to present the authorities with this, like this. Come on, man. Wow. 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 All right, guys, and that was just the first floor. We still have the bottom one to go to. And we have Freedom Bound, Runaways of the Chesapeake. This is on the second floor. Oh, look at that. Oh, special thanks. My name is... You said what? I said advertising for runaways. I said, wow. <sighs> well, I'm glad that art from white people wasn't as bad. Was wasn't that far off from white people. <laughs> Servants, really. So all of these are exhibits of I guess just gives you different insights in people's lives. Oh so there was a whole play. Wow. Wow, look at this. Sixth generation. Wow. Wow. Six generations of slaves. Wow. All right, so this is on the second floor, and evidently they host open mics here. That's what Bree just told me here, because she's yeah, been a couple. Where, um, Rebecca DuPas. Hold open mics. She's actually a Baltimore artist. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Okay. Cause it's Pratt Street right there. Miss Shirley's and like power plant and all that over there. All right. And here we are at the bottom level. Oh, this is all. Recent, actually. Home of the Freddie Gray riots. If you guys ever want to hear me tell the story about like 
what it was like living here, like during all the riots and everything, let me know. I mean, I'm only going to say it for educational purposes. I'm going to let you know that right now, though. So, yeah. <laughs> this one. And this one. Are my favorites. Oh, and all right, guys. That's it for this tour. Uh, it was only $8 general admission. Like, no discounts or anything. It was only $8 to do a tour. Definitely worth it. Like I said, I didn't film a lot of stuff. It's like, the way it's made, the bulk of everything is pretty much on the third floor. You got a little bit on the second. And then it's like you got more recent things on the first is what you can see. But great museum. There's a lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff to take in. Um, yeah, you should know what you're getting yourself into when you go to a museum like this. So... Especially if you're black, it is going, you know. Stir up some emotional feelings. Yeah, there we go. Stir up some emotional feelings. He said it best. Right. Right. <laughs> That's why I literally ran some things and then just had to walk past. Right. Like, I just need to know one thing about the area and everything else is going to be for me. Yeah, because it, it gets, it gets, it, it can get rough in there. It's nothing graphic like the. Um, Blacks and Wax Museum, but yeah, because this is right next door. So there you go. But that's the, this is the, huh? You see the big flag oh yeah, and they got the big back there. Uh, that's separate from the Reginald F. Lewis Museum, of course, but this is the place where like the flag was made and all that stuff, you know, whatever. But back to what I was saying, it's not as bad as the Blacks and Wax Museum. If you guys want me to go there, I will go there, but the Blacks and Wax Museum, that's graphic, like, they actually have limbs of cut-off slaves. They actually have, like, penises of, of a... They have a penis of a cut-off slave. Like, it's it's rough. That one's rough. This one is a lot softer, but they have a lot of actual artifacts and stuff that was owned by slaves is what you saw. So, that's the thing with it. But that's pretty much going to conclude it for this video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Make sure you get the merch. Merch link is down in the description below. If there's any place you guys want me to check out, just let me know. I'll go ahead and... Go there for you guys. And as always, guys, you stay classy, stay positive. Yeah, have, have a good, a good day. day. What is a car enthusiast? An individual that loves anything to do with cars and its counterparts. And one who can talk for hours about cars and not get tired of it.